find the intervals in which the function f given by f of x is equal to 2x square minus 3x is increasing and in which interval it is decreasing. So to find the intervals and we know that our function will change its behavior it's increasing or decreasing where its f dash of x is equal to 0. So let us differentiate this function. So we will have f dash of x is equal to 2 to the 4x minus 3. To find the intervals let f dash of x is equal to 0. To get the intervals in which in which f is increasing or decreasing. So we had 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So which implies x is equal to 3 upon 4. So x is equal to 3 upon 4. We will divide the number line into two parts. So let us mark here 3 by 4. So minus infinity to plus infinity real line. So in which your f dash of x if it is negative we can see it is increasing f dash of x is negative it's a decreasing and f dash of x is greater than 0 it's an increasing okay so here we very clearly 3 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.75 so if i take this let us consider 1 and f dash of x is equal to 4x minus 3 so for x is equal to 1 if I take f dash of 1 is equal to 4 into 1 minus 3 which is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 which is positive. So we can consider in this interval it is positive. And again below 3 by 4 if I take the value 0. So f dash of 0 is equal to 4 into 0 minus 3 is negative 3 is less than 0. So we can consider here it is negative. So above 3 by 4 it is positive we can conclude. So it is divided into total 2 intervals 3 by 4 to infinity is one interval and minus infinity to 3 by 4 is another interval. So in which we can decide where it is positive 3 by 4 in 3 by 4 comma infinity your f dash of x is positive. So which implies that the given function f is increasing f is increasing in 3 by 4 to infinity and in the interval minus infinity to 3 by 4 we observed that by taking one example taking 0 which is less than 3 by 4 so we got f dash of x is negative negative value so which implies that f is decreasing f is decreasing in minus infinity to 3 by 4 okay so we can conclude this answer and also by using wavy curve method so we, by using wavy curve method just simply taking the curve from the negative from this side from here to at this point and again taking the changing the curve so we can easily identify that positive and negativity in this problem and the wavy curve method been explained and that is given in the description box link you can please watch that video for good knowledge okay thank you